welcome to our principle of the week. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about monitoring as we enter. Uh, I find this to be a, a good way to get to our clinch. And also it's kind of overwhelming and, and confusing a lot of times for somebody that you are fighting with. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them to us. Okay, with the monitoring situation, I'm going to start this off with an interception, which means I parry and hit at the same time. And I'm going to do it on a split entry right now. So when Emmy throws that punch at me, boom, that's my first shot, okay? So I'm going from there, and then I'm gonna to continue to monitor one hand and let the other hand go. This is very nice for helping you develop your relaxation and hand speed for your trapping, but what I wanna have is one hand forward, one hand back the whole time, okay? So when I'm in here, and that's leading me in very nice to my, to my clinch situation from right here like we talked about last week, okay? So think about it when I'm coming in, that could be a strike to the eye. I could be going to the throat with the webbing of my hand there. I could be striking the side of the neck, okay? And then from there, what I'm gonna do is come back, continue to monitor, and get another strike. This can go right to my clinch. But for drilling, I can kind of have here so that I'm practicing that relaxation of that hand speed, okay? And we're back. Okay, so like I said, with that monitoring situation, I'm having this uh, go. What tends to happen when if you get that first shot off, you're gonna have a moment where the person kind of is a little bit stunned. Um, now, you can add, when here, coming in, so a lot of times I find when I'm doing this to people, it's very confusing and slightly overwhelming, so they tend not to be firing punches. She could, if she's really good, throw that other punch, but if I'm doing this correctly, my hands, I'm keeping my shoulders up, and I I'm, I'm still have my fighting stance as I'm going in. And with this coming in, I can be monitoring the other hand, if the other hand's going to boom, okay, and I can keep switching until I get to my clinch position, okay? Uh, it can be very effective. It can also work if she's like, if she's grabbing me, you don't have to do this like this. So if she's grabbing me here, I can also be monitoring here, okay? We're doing this in a jujitsu class the other day with our buddy Damien at Great Fight Concepts. Pulling this away and going here, and I'm kind of creating distance and spreading out, okay? This situation kind of tends to happen when you get that first interception because then they stop kind of punching and just kind of like are crazy because they have this crazy badger in their face. So really nice way to get into your clinch uh, situation and also, like I said, really helps you to develop that relaxation and hand speed you need for your trapping. So uh, one more thing here too. I don't really want to switch line here. So from here, if I want to monitor again with this hand, which is right now on the inside line, I don't really want to come out here and trap right now. I'm gonna stay on the same line, and if I wanna switch, I'm gonna do it when the other hand traps, okay? You wanna kinda of find the most economical way to get to whatever target you want from this. So for example, if I wanna, if I wanna now hit Emmy with this hand, I'm not gonna come all the way around here. This one is right here, okay? If I wanna to get to the clinch with my other hand now, I'm not gonna bring it around the outside, I'm just gonna go straight in to get to my clinch from this situation. And that's with the monitoring stuff, like I said, very effective. So let's watch a couple guys practice this, and uh, we will talk about it in a second. You can start this out slow. Getting that interception is the first part, and then you can move in from there. So a couple times, Paul, just do the interception. Getting that simultaneous block and strike is going to help you set this up. And then once you get that, kind of comfortably, you can start monitoring in, trying to get to your clinch. Oh. Try to make sure each of those is a strike. Don't forget your strikes on that. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Okay, good. Go ahead and touch gloves. And... Okay, go ahead. Remember, keep it relaxed. Good. And then once she gets that timing down, there you go. Boom. Right to her clinch. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed our little video here. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, comments, gripes, complaints, anything like that, you can feel free to send them to us. Uh, have a great day and happy training. Check out our Facebook page. Oh, thank you. Uh, no thumbs. <laughs>